at Video Viewing World and welcome to a video review of the Glacial Tech F101 CPU Cooler. Inside the box along with the CPU cooler you receive the Intel mounting back plates you receive the mounting hardware for the Intel you receive the AMD clip and you receive a single white fan it's a silent fan uh, the specs on the fan are uh, the rated speed is 110 RPM the airflow is 44 CFM and the noise level is 21 decibels so fairly quiet and you also receive the Glacial Tech Ice Therm Super Thermal Compound, one and a half grams of that. You also receive a little spreader to spread that compound around. You receive eight of these uh, clips for the fans. It does come with eight of them, so if you wanted uh, to, let me pull this out here. This supports two fans, so one a push-pull configuration. So if you wanted to, you can hook up another fan. That's how I'm going to be hooking it up. Have the extra fan, have the extra clips, might as well use it. You receive four screws to mount the, uh, the mounting hardware to the bottom of the cooler. And you also receive the instruction manual. This cooler has five heat pipes. As I was saying, this CPU cooler has five copper heat pipes with a nickel finish on them. And it supports both Intel LGA 775, 1156, and 1366, along with the AMD uh, AM2 and AM3 CPUs. And the dimensions are 143 by 86 by 148 millimeters and it weighs in at 750 grams. And be sure to stay tuned to the end of this. I will be doing a comparison between the Intel stock cooler and the uh, Glacial Tech F101. And now for the installation. Okay, the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to mount these brackets to the uh, the base or the heat sink and use the four uh, screws that are included and since I'm installing this on an Intel CPU motherboard I mounted them onto the outside if you're mounting this to an AMD CPU the only difference is instead of on the outside you'll run them through on the inside there and now let's, uh, well, the before we get onto the install, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, basically, this is going to go on back of the motherboard, and this is going to go on top, and this is the bracket for the 775, LGA-775, and we're using the closest portion of this and the four supplied screws will go and secure it down so basically like that <clears throat> and don't forget to use the super thermal compound that's comes along with it and let's get to the installation of this to the, onto the motherboard okay after removing the old CPU cooler and after you cleaned it off get all the thermal compound the previous thermal compound off apply a small dot of the ice therm 
super thermal compound that's supplied with the CPU cooler onto the CPU use the uh, I don't know what you call this the uh, the spreader and just spread it out evenly get it all the way over uh, a little dab will do you with this stuff so if you if you need more just add a little bit more uh, it's easier to put on than it is to take off at this point but anyway let's get started on actually installing the bracket and the cooler itself on the back of the bracket there's a white backing you want to remove that white backing just like so flip your motherboard around line up the holes in the bracket to the holes on the motherboard And now it is time to install the CPU cooler onto the motherboard. Uh, different, couple different ways that you can uh, put this on. Just make sure that it fits. You know, if you know if you want it blowing out the back or out the top. Either way, this is clearing all the stuff. I think I'm going to I'm going to have it going out the back and make sure that all of the holes line up. And then take your screws and I'm going to finger tighten this first. And then secure all the screws and I'll be right back. And finally using the supplied pins, push it through the fan into the holes on the top and on the bottom of the CPU cooler and let me remove that and they are on there solid I'm pulling on that and it is not moving and now let's plug in the fan uh, if I can get it right over here I'm going to plug the fan in and let you hear it one more time on the CPU cooler. And there you have it. The Glacial Tech F101 CPU cooler installed on an LGA775 motherboard. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe and stay tuned to the end and I'll have the comparison between this and the stock Intel CPU cooler and I'll let you judge for yourself if this is a CPU cooler for you. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe and have a great day. Thank you.